Hi everyone and welcome back. Let's begin by taking a look at the first area of settings for our terrain, the global settings. World Creator can do both procedural design and custom shape design. This area is what drives the procedural generated details for both methods. On screen is the starting level we are given and we can change the seed of what's being displayed by clicking the plus or minus icons. Or you can also click this cube icon to randomly select a seed value. The starting terrain size on screen is 1024 by 1024 meters, but later on we will be able to change this along with incorporating this terrain into tiles for much larger terrains. Next is our precision setting. This lets us determine the terrain's resolution or in other terms, determine how dense the mesh quads would be for the terrain. For example, the terrain to the left is our starting terrain based off one meter of precision, while the terrain on the right is based off a half meter of precision. Both terrains are the same physical size of one kilometer by one kilometer, but the half meter precision terrain has double the amount of quads, meaning it is double the resolution. There are many reasons why you would choose a higher or lower precision level based on your terrain size. We will cover more of these reasons in the video where we cover exporting, so be sure to watch that video later in the series. That being said, it is good practice to go with a precision level that gives you enough detail for your end goal, whether it would be to generate a height map, mesh, or even a high resolution normal map. Don't worry if you don't know what that goal is yet. I'll be sure to dive into some general workflow practices in its own dedicated video. The next area is the biome section. Biomes are the different types or different zones of ecosystems on our planet. In World Creator, this is very much the same in principle, but it is so much more. Think of biomes as both a separate layer of detail or a specific area on the terrain of focus. It can be a massed area, it can be an overlapping area, or it can be an area just for sculpting. I'll dive more into this in the next video, but the point here is that the settings section below are the same settings available per biome. Focusing just on the first biome, our global biome, the settings below are the driving force for what we see on the starting terrain. These particular settings are in relation to how this biome reacts to another biome or multiple biomes, so for now, let's skip discussing these and look at the main fractal settings. The first area is the base shape section, which allows you to go through a sort of wizard tool to help you along with beginning your terrain with some general shapes and features. This dropdown allows you to choose from various beginner shapes and the following settings let you adjust the starter shape a bit further by changing the seed, noise details, and specific details based on the general shape you've selected. Next is the base global noise generation. General strength is the overall strength of all the procedural detail you see on the terrain. The higher the number, the more pronounced the details shape the terrain. Offset X and Offset Y will reposition the procedural detail in the respective axes. Noise height allows you to reposition the vertical range or Z axis procedural detail. In this example, it allows random detail between 0 and 250 meters above sea level. At its essence, these are the basic settings to look at when establishing a base project. However, if you want a bit more fine-tuned adjustments, you can customize the fractal noise or detail of the terrain by editing the various level strengths in this graph here. This may look complicated at first, but don't let it overwhelm you. It's actually quite simple. World Creator lets you manually control the intensity of strengths of each level of detail on the terrain. The bottom row represents the various levels of detail. The lower numbers will adjust detail on a larger scale, while the larger numbers will adjust detail on a smaller scale. You can adjust these from 0 to 100% in strength, and the top row numbers will tell you your current level strength amount for that particular level. This is similar to the general strength slider, except that slider is the global setting, while the level strength sliders are the individual fractal noise controls per level of detail. 
it's a pretty straightforward process. Just remember the higher the number, the more fine grain detail you are adjusting and the lower the number, the wider amount of detail you are adjusting. You remember that flow and you're all set. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.